WREG's Michael Quander. Michael Quander. Thank you, Michael. He's been on top of the story since it first happened. I'm Michael Quander. W we heard gunshots just now down here. Two children, two adults, all hurt in a two vehicle crash that happened right here behind me. And if you take a look down here, this shows just how many police cars are still on the scene tonight. They have not received any credible threats against the LGBT community. This is the actual floor right here. You can see one all the way back here. The other is right here beside me. If you take a look down here, charred debris and this scorched ground. Now, right now they're using law enforcement crews from across the state and even outside of the state, including as far as Florida. Police say the man got away with the victim's phone, wallet, his TV, and his car was attacked with beer bottles before he fires shots. Police say it was surveillance video from this store that was key, but it's still unclear exactly how much money was stolen. A masked man walked up, cursed them out, and pulled out a gun. I'm a quander. W we heard gunshots just now down here. If you all take a look, I don't know what that was. Uh, some kind of loud explosion just happened live on the air. Officers over here are pushing people back away. WREG was there as a barricade situation unfolded at a home in West Memphis, Arkansas. Seen that man come to the door and said, go on and shoot, go on and shoot. Police say the man had a gun when Crittenden County deputies showed up with an eviction notice. Well, if he got evicted, I thought he would, you know, Find him somewhere else to stay and, you know, just let that be. This woman says the man inside was her father, Henry Johnson. I just want him, you know, to come out and give himself up safely so, you know, they won't have to, you know, go in there after him. That sound wasn't gunshots, police say. It was uh, tactics the uh, special response team uses for is distraction. It, is this something called a flashbang? Sir, is it called a flashbang, which you were using? Yes, we did deploy a flashbang. Moments later, our cameras captured a man claiming to be Johnson's grandson being rushed into the complex. Do you know what he said? Yeah, I please get those cameras on my face, man. Police say no one else was in the house when Johnson eventually surrendered. He's now facing serious charges. And as the mobile command center is willed away, family members and neighbors are glad to know it all ended peacefully. But I've seen he seemed to be normal. So I don't know. Some, something set him off. Something that left this neighborhood at a standstill for hours. Michael, what'd you find out? Well, Rice Krispies. Well, this is just one of the products affected by this video. And the man who you see here spraying urine all over the place, well, he's still out there on the streets. Snap, crackle, pop. A company known for its sweet cereal is getting sour faces. There's something out you're looking at a man recording himself as he urinated on the cereal assembly line at the Kellogg's plant in South Memphis. Kellogg's, this is our favorite uh, choice of uh, breakfast. Families disgusted. I can't believe this actually happened, man. And in shock. Oh my God. After the video surfaced online Friday. God, man, I almost threw up. Dang, I almost threw up. A Kellogg spokesperson says the company just found out about the video, although an internal investigation revealed it was shot in 2014. That was cruelty to the people so it could cause illness. What some call a sickening act could have affected Rice Krispie treats, Rice Krispie cereal, and puff rice cakes. All products past their expiration dates by now. It's serious, serious, very serious. Serious enough for the feds to step in. The Food and Drug Administration is working to figure out who's the man behind the camera. Kellogg's wanting him prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. He was wrong and he should be penalized. Yeah. The video was shot during the same time the company and workers union fell out into a nasty labor dispute and those employees were locked down. Yeah, everybody striking, they all out in the front. The company not saying when exactly they believe the video was shot that year. Some saying management should have been paying attention. Uh, that they watch their employees a little better than what they watch them. This is their kitchen. This is their bedroom. They're just trying to sleep and get by. Underneath a bridge they call home. Oh, bunch of things. Tonight, homeless people living under the Jackson Avenue Bridge in Nutbush are scared for their lives. Boom, bait to a pup, you know what I'm saying? A man told WREG one of their own was attacked and robbed Saturday night. It says four guys, young guys, and uh, Ted, and they, they beat him down, took all his gear and backpack stuff from his bought home. He says it happened again to another man Sunday. Blood out of his ear, head splitting everything. They got him. Next thing I know, four or four white guys 
came and beat hit me. This man right here, this victim known as Cowboy, is scared to show his face on camera, fearing the men who beat him will return. He had cuts under his eyes, a swollen nose and jaw, and had dried blood on his ear. It's, it's crazy. It, it's sad. It's real sad because it's the homeless. I mean, come on, under a bridge, man. Not again. You know, this is not something that's unusual. Those who work closely with the homeless community say far too often crimes like this go unreported, but police say they can't investigate a crime unless they know about it. Memphis police say these beatings and robberies were never reported. Advocates say many of those living on the streets won't. They did not want to be a snitch, and sometimes they just think that they're not going to be taken seriously for whatever reason. A 2012 survey from the Community Alliance for the Homeless revealed nearly half of the people they interviewed reported being attacked while living on the streets. It's just sad, man. I figured you got to say something. Get something. I don't know, man. It's just horrible. Reporting in North Memphis, Michael Quander, WREG, News Channel 3.